Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to set up Bloxy's Mega Menu. All right, so let's start off with our demo side over here. You can see we have our menu here, but if you clicked it or hovered over it, nothing really happens. It just takes us to the page. All right, so let's say here on their services, we have a bunch of things, and this is a website about dentistry. And we scroll down here, we have teeth widening, tooth extraction, dental implants, so on and so forth. And these don't do anything because they're just examples. So let's head over to our dashboard and begin by hovering over Bloxy and clicking on the Bloxy dashboard. And you will need Bloxy Pro for this. So let's go ahead and click on extensions. Scroll down and find advanced menu. That's what we call make the mega menu here. And we can go ahead and click on customize. And it takes us to our menus. Okay, so in order to activate our mega menu settings here, we can click on one of these. And under menu item settings, we can configure each one of these menu items to become a mega menu. So let's click on Mega Menu Settings. Let's make it uh, full width. And all of this full width. We can have three columns, five columns, six columns. But let's go with, let's go with four and click on this one. And we can also have our uh, labels and so on. And we can also have our icon. So let's just put this one real quick. We can make it a bit bigger as well. Put it on the right. And you can enable or disable the badge. We also have our colors and stuff over here. So and our uh, typography. So we can play with that if we wanted to. So we can save that. And wait for it to load up. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add some content here. So we can imagine that these example ones are the surfaces over here. And... Let's just uh, select a bunch here and then add them to the menu. And then we can put them under services. And then we can have sub items here and have it like that. Have this under here and here and then over like that. And then we can put these underneath these other items as well. There we go. And this one over here. All right, then we can save this menu. And it should save up in a bit. With that saved, let's refresh our site over here. Now we have our icon and we have our full width mega menu. Now you can see that each one of these, and you see one, two, three, and we have our sub items and subcategories over here. And if we wanted more, we can just move this up here and move this one up here and then this one down here. And you can save this. And you can see that whether it's a main item or a sub item, that's when it becomes one of the main categories here on our mega menu. So let's wait for this to save. And there it is updated. Let's hit refresh again. And you can see that this has moved up to the side because it's no longer underneath our services. It's a completely different one. And you can see uh, with a hierarchy here. But you can also see we now have four columns because we put them in our hierarchy here as one, two, three, four. So there's your mega menu and you can configure each one of these to become a mega menu just like that. Or you can just have one giant mega menu. So there's how you set up Loxy's mega menu real quick, real easy. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.